Welcome. This is the 26th edition of the Naval Engineering Student Technical Sessions. Um, of course, this uh, year or this semester, we have to do we have to do it online because of these limitations. Okay, so uh, we're going to have as normal ten minutes for each presentation, and at the end we will have two mi five minutes for questions. Okay, so if you want to ask something, please raise your hand, and if the time allows, I will. Uh, allow you to, to ask your question to any, any person who wants to do it, okay? Otherwise, we, we have to restrict it because of the, of the time. Okay, uh, let's go to our business, okay? Uh, we're going to start by Mr. Reyes and Mr. Yanghe. Uh, they're going to explain the design of a, a fishing vessel in aluminum. Go on, Mr. Okay, doctor. Good morning. Uh, good morning with everybody. Uh, well, about the whole farms, to obtain the main dimension of our ship, we use the optimization scheme aiming to minimize the resistance to the, to the demand, for which we made use the jack optimization engine uh, from uh, a package from Python, obtaining the following dimension that, well, that we can see in the Slide. In addition to, in order, in order to reduce the resistance, the implement, implementation of bulb, bulb uh, was considered according to the method of, of Amadeo Garcia, <coughs> specified for fishing vessels. Uh, Both is its branch of application. We obtain the following dimension of the bulb. Okay. And all this we can obtain in the following forms for our fishing vessel. Oh. We are typical compared to the to the national to the national ship. Okay. Uh, about floral length and general arrangement, uh, to analyze this this floral length, we select the number of bolts of both heads according to law register that is our or classification society that we used to work this ship and which were five ball heads according to the to our length uh, less than 17 meters uh, we locate them according to the general distribution of the of similar of similar ship uh, with a similar length yeah. and we have five ball heads, okay uh, we work with a permeability of 80, 85 and 95 percent uh, for engine room and tanks and hull re respectively. Uh, evalu evaluation of a summers of, of only one summers compartment. Um, we observe that the, we observe this curve in the all in the all in the all, for the all permeability and we can see that it's passed with the correct uh, permeability for the compartment. Uh, we made a general arrangement for our fishing vessel with a distribution of eight holes for the for the fish. Yeah, and four four in starboard and four in port. And your room is in, in midship in midship. And the in the midship for the for the for the front for the forward, uh, we consider of crew of twenty one persons, uh, including the pilot of the helicopter. Uh, we 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 consider uh, a two holes to connection for the for the down deck to the upper deck by consideration of the of the ownership. Performing the calibration of the and plan all the, all the tanks in the ship, uh, we obtained a capacity of 417 meter cubic of, of carga, a value up, uh, above the, the required and uh, 400 cubic cubic meters. 
and we can see the superstructure. Uh, we include a, a helicopter. Okay, uh, we we can we can see that the, the calibration of the tank in in our in our in our ship, and we can uh, capacity of the fuel above the fifty the fifty the fifty thousand gallons of of fuel. That is to forty one for more of forty one day of to to can be in the in the sea. For the for the structure, we work with a mixed frame, a longitudinal for the section for the midship section of holes and driver's frame of the of the rest of the boat. We work with the marine aluminum aluminum alloy uh, 5083 under the Alloy Register Classification Society. And next please. We can we can see we can see here the master frame of our boat that com that complies with the minimum sectional sectional modulo and required uh, with 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 478 above the minimum, and we also we the next please and we can. Yeah, here we can see to the. Uh, 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 mampa, uh, bullhead, a uh, bullhead in the in the in the aft zone, and a uh, and a wet frame in the midship section. That it's 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 important to to say that we have to do the two a, a conceptual design and a preliminary design. And the conceptual design we have a a weight of eighteen uh, a weight uh, estimate weight of only uh, 550 tons down the, down the preliminary value design for the way structure. Right, it's considered the maximum speed of 12 knots. So we see a, re a resistance of 80 kilonewtons by both methods, uh, Holdrop and Garcia. They they indicate powers of the engine in the can in the conceptual and preliminary in the indicate a proximity. The difference is the difference lies in in, in efficiency efficiency zero point five five and preliminary efficiency about uh, zero point zero point six five eight five nine. Okay, this, the cylinder he chosen was 12 man marine engine was the, this, this chosen. You see the specification of the same with a rated power of <coughs> 1,400 1, uh, horsepower and ensuring a safety, a safety pa, uh, factor. Then, then calculate, calculating the dimension of Series B propeller and cal calculating the general propeller line, okay? Uh, according to the, for the cargo condition, according to the Croatian Register of Shipping and for fishing, for fishing vessel, we have a uh, five typical load condition that are referring in the classification rules. Well, uh, it's important to say that for all the for for all the the carrier condition we have accomplished with the minimum value. Uh, can can you the next? Can you pass to the next, Adrian? And we can the result. Uh, we can see that <laughs> the value of above the minimum is very very low. It's 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 important to say that our ship is above a little above above the minimal value required required and for the four carga condition we didn't comply with the with the specified explicit and because we have to uh, uh, we have to so we have to add a uh, 20 percent of the carga for the 
for the for the midship session to comply the with the with the, with the uh, now the cost estimate is observed in detail by construction group with a sales value of uh, approximately 5.7 millions of dollars okay mr uh, mr. to evaluate the profit mr. mr Jange, please uh, it's it's about 12 minutes so please let's go to the conclusions because uh, we have a schedule okay. please yeah. go to the conclusions yeah. Yeah, doctor. It can be seen in the graph that that um, tier about 10% was considered being 9.75 the interest than that Bank Ecuador would charge for a loan for a small and medium sized company companies. So that before the, the end of the seventh seventh year, all the debt would be paid and there would be only positive value concluding the profitability of the project is positive. You feel the way of aluminum for high load of fish, fishing stability criteria with made under certain engineering considerations and the price of the structure is expensive but life of the the vessel is extended and you save more money. It's all. Thank you. Okay, uh, we have a couple of minutes for one question, people. Is there anybody who want to ask a question? Please raise your hand if you are you we are willing to ask a question. Anybody? Uh, for example, uh, you said that the, the the cost of the aluminum hull is larger than the I guess in the, in the case of the steel. Did you do comparison? No, Did you? We, we, did, we didn't have time for comparison, but for this reason, we we related this graph to obtain the value that we we get the the inversion the investment about seven years, and then for for the next years obtain just positive values. And the the thing is that it is always if you want us to make a a, a big change because this would be a big change. I mean, it, it's not complete unless you show us the, the two sides. Okay, so that's that's something that uh, I would like to see. Uh, something else in the resistance curve that you you show, there is a large difference between the two methods. Which one did you use to select the engine? Uh, yes, but but it's more it's more confiability for a number a number pro uh, above the 0 0.25. So in this above this song, uh, the values of the two curves are are similar. Uh, this is the reason that in the prince in the in the first part we can uh, separate between the curve, but with the velocity that we have to work, uh, we have a similar value uh, for the two but the, the, that doesn't make me feel comfortable. I mean, you, you have a large difference in a certain area, they get closer, but uh, I should be, I, I should be worried because if, if you are away from there, the, the, the results are extremely different. Maybe, maybe can be, can be, can be a bet uh, to graph the curve above only above the uh, only in the range of application <laughs> only a range. no 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 that's that's not that's not fair i mean it, it's a good idea that you have shown the whole curve and and uh, it, okay it's not your fault but we have to be aware that there is a large differences between these these two methods Okay, uh, that, that's it. Let's go, let's move on. Uh, now we're going to listen to Mr. Marin and Mr. Roa 
about the design of the general cargo vessel for the Galapagos. Please, 10 minutes. Can you hear me first? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Okay, well, can you yes, see my sir. screen? Yeah. yeah, we can see you. We can okay. go on. Uh, okay. Uh, what is the ship production? Uh, is the capacity to design, design and and produce uh, all the components of the of the vessel for a good operation. In this case, we apply all this and we did it. Good morning, everybody. Uh, today we will talk about the preliminary design of a general cargo vessel of 1,000 tons for operate in Galapagos. My partner is Roa, and our sponsor was the Javier Macias. He works in Galapagena Corp. Uh, S.A. The agenda for today is is show you the the chief of chief owner requirements. Uh, a lot of the general arrangement and structural strength, uh, the result of stability, the resistance and propulsion, uh, a lot of, of the any other uh, auxiliary system, the budget and the conclusion. The principal objective of this project is according to, to the requirements, uh, develop uh, the preliminary design of the of our ship. In this case, the, our ship have the 70 meters and working in Galapagos. Mm. The method that we use for for develop this project is the is the is according to a spiral design. This spiral design is following following different steps to reach the the principal objective or the final project. In the right hand side, you can see a summary of, in the table uh, all data uh, all data re required of the of the ship owner. In this case, is the cargo capacity was of the one thousand tons for thirteen person of accommodation and six days uh, autonomy. Also, also the rules for construction in this case is DMB rules classification. For design the general arrangement, we use the forty fourth shipping shipping international and ship of general cargo vessel. You can see in this case, we use the linear duration for obtaining all data uh, as a, uh, like a breadth, the depth, the draft, the speed, and, and the current capacity and dead weight tonnage. With this data, uh, we use for, for to, to complete, complete the, the, the arrangement. And you can see a different position of the ballast tank, the diesel oil tanks, the water fresh tank, the decks, the cranes, that we use in this uh, in this general cargo vessel. And here you can see different view of our of our project. Uh, in this case, you can observe that the cranes is over to the bowheads and and the decks and different position of tanks. For for the structural strength, uh, we use the DMB world classification. For, for scanning each element of a structure. You can see the size structure, the, the, the double bottom, the bottom, and the deck structure, and you can see in the right hand side, the all dimension that we use for this uh, scanning. And the detail is, uh, we'll use the, for the, for the welder in a, in the future. Good morning. I'm going to talk about the section of the stability. In this section, we can see that the, uh, we analyze the GC curves. And as we can see, we analyze six, condition, six load conditions. And the uh, analyze was in, in base of an IMO criteria. In this case, one of the elements of IMO criteria was in the area of the set that all these conditions satisfy the area of 13 to 40. And um, more is in the angle, the maximum angle of GC. All the conditions satisfy this IMO criteria. In the, on the right hand side, we can see the ballast tank. And the ballast tank um, 
other distribution that we can see are the boil, uh, fresh water, and diesel tanks. And below this graphic, we can see the the we can see that the, the distribution of the maxur in the uh, well, the the waves and the of the structure and the liquids and along the ship. Our analysis that we are, we did is in ANSYS, and we select one of the sections of the cargo. In as we can see the and the notes and elements, both are about uh, one approximately uh, one hundred points. And in this case, we can see that in this section we analyze and force for the half of the uh, the cargo of this design, and as we can see the maximum deflection in the bottom is. 3.34 millimeters. Or things that we analyze are the, the stress, the normal shear stress. And three parameters that we analyze as are, is, are the one misses and shear and normal stress. All of these are below of the yield stress. One example that we can see is in the normal stress that is below uh, uh, the value max, maximum value of this value is 1.12 uh, newton per millimeter squared, and this below uh, of 225. Uh, the next section is the resistance of propulsion, and as we can see, uh, first uh, we have uh, one shaft, one propeller, and we analyze this in Maxur. And first, we analyze with the re, uh, the resistance of the of the ship. In our case, the, uh, we apply two methods. One of method is a general method that is called drop, and the next method is series center that this is specifically for cargo ship. In our case, with this resistance, we we have that uh, a maximum horsepower requirement is about uh, 682. So we select an uh, engine, a Caterpillar C18, uh, with a host power of 1710. And for the propeller section, we analyze with the curves of Wegeningen. And it's, we estimate that the diameter of the propeller is approximately 1.7 meters, and the pitch uh, is 3.7 meters. Uh, the section that we, we have here is a syst auxiliary systems. Uh, we have the two, two examples, the diesel and the firefighting system. In this case, we have a well, an distribution of system and diesel slope and, oil and daily tanks. And uh, we can see the daily tank is connected directly in the, in the engine. Uh, these systems, uh, we consider in this system, a pump, a filter, and check valves. And in, on the right hand side, we can see the exhausting and the ventilation system. Uh, the other system that we have uh, is fire firefighting system. And as we can see, uh, the pipeline is start in, the C, in a CF box. So uh, the pipeline is distributed along the ship. And as we can see in this case, where we have four sprinklers uh, in one of the section of the cargo. Uh, finally, well, we can see the the summary of the, the summary of the cost. In our case, we analyze the in different sections uh, of the of this presentation, and as we can see the highest value in the cost uh, is in the structure that is approximately one three point six millions of dollar, and the lowest value was in design at about uh, sixteen. So, uh, thousand dollars and the cost total, total cost was approximately six million of dollars and finally we can say that we design a ship and according to the requirements of the ship are applying the DMB and applying the spiral design uh, with different uh, constructive groups so um, thank you okay uh, is there any questions for this group? Uh, people right on time, 10 minutes. That was a, a good uh, preparation. There is a question from Nadia Munoz. Go on, Nadia.
Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, yes, I wanted to ask you something. Uh, well, I have some questions. Uh, in the security, what is the worst condition that you have? The, uh, the, in, this, in the section of stability. Yes, what is the worst clean, condition? Clean can you yeah uh, yeah the the, uh, the order of the uh, condition load is in here to uh, 100 consum 100 consum 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 and 100 with what at that and 100 of cargo but that is the worst condition that you have, because if you see your decent curves, it should be the one that has a less range of stability. Yeah. Uh, sorry, can, can you can you repeat the, the question? I, I... Yes. What is the worst condition of a stability? Mm -hmm. What is the worst condition? Worst condition. Ah. Uh, the the worst condition in our case is when uh, is is when when the ship is a fuel is a fuel in when the when the ship is a a, a one hundred which one the four one the five one, one it's the full it's the full condition is the is the, 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 the four one. condition in this case no, in the table you can no, see no, no. In the four in the, in the uh, four condition. Condition. No. But uh, let, let me let me. Uh, this is interesting uh, because uh, we have had some problems uh, capsizing ships in around Galapagos Islands. So the, the my my question is: I just want to want what uh, Nadia asked. What was the parameter which was closer to not being satisfied in this in this condition? What parameter? Oh, oh no. we. I'm sorry, but uh, in in our case, uh, we only see that it was fast, and we we are happy. But but no, I don't have, I, I don't have an answer. Future engineers, future engineers have to analyze everything. Yeah, if you are one point oh 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 one, that means that you are very close, not satisfying that, and we have to be worried about that problem. Yes. Yeah, That's really, else. really. I, I don't, I don't ask for that because we, That's uh, something we should always have. Remember, it's not always getting from the black box numbers. It's just uh, analyzing. Uh, something else. Uh, for example, I was surprised that in the first slide or the second, that you did not have as a restriction the draft. Since you are going yeah, to be yeah, working in the Galapagos. Yes, the draft, the draft uh, was the restriction was the four major. Because yeah. the, the, the in our case uh, we don't mention that, but uh, we have a, we had a section of, of optimization, and before of this uh, the parameter of the ship of our ship uh, we consider all the restriction, but in this in this presentation we don't mention about it. Yeah, because uh, in Galapagos, remember we don't have docks, so we have to get closer, and you are always with this yes. potential problem. Max. The maximum, the maximum. And what was the draft at the end of the, in your design in the load in full load condition? Yeah. Is three 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 point six three point six yes yes oh, it says three point ninety three. The, the, this is the, the, the draft, yes. Yeah, so if you say that the maximum is four, that means that you're seven centimeters <laughs> away from, I mean, you're very close to the limit. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, Nadia, you have any other question? Yes, yes, I have another question. Uh, what is the structural part, but in the end, uh, when you have the coasts, Go to the coast. Mm -hmm. I'm more interested in how did you get those values? Because I, I don't know, but uh, if, if I remember uh, in Asinave, those values is like, okay, it's to me, it's like too cheap. 
Yes. But I don't know. How do you get those values? Yes. For example, in the in the propulsion system, uh, we consider the shaft, the propeller, only only the weight of the propeller, and the the the, the long of the shaft. Uh, for example, in electronics, we consider the, the this value uh, it goes the 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 price in the in the internet. <laughs> Uh, is is around is around of the for example in the in the first generate wheels the generator cable is around of the the two 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 hundred uh, of dollars and in the oscillating system is commonly in our case for for uh, is around of the of the seven hundred dollar. Uh -huh. Considering all all the all the system all the all the auxiliary system the um, the fire yeah, fighting, the, the balance the balance. Just one question: about, Are you are you considering the workers? Yeah. How, do you pay to the workers for for all of this job, or just considering just the elements, the equipment? Uh, oh, no, the main no. hour. No, no. Uh, all, all the, all the, all the equipment uh, we don't consider the, the, we we don't consider in this the. This. No, but Only... you are considering the man hour. Uh, how you pay to the to the workers? Yeah, for the installations. Yeah. Ah, yes, yes, yes. The the main hours we consider this. Our... See, in the work hour for the work in the, for example, in the assembly of the structure, uh, that the the the, the also the. Is considered the price of installation, installation, and the and the weight of the. Of okay. The yes, yes. And not a certificate, a shipper, right? No. Not certificate, right? Enable. Okay. <laughs> 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 extra, extra payment. <laughs> okay, good. Let's move on. Uh, now let's hear from uh, Miss Reyes and Miss Villalba about a replenishment oiler ship for our Navy. Uh, can you see my reaction? Not yet. Yeah, now. We can see it now. Uh, is you what? But how could you increase the autonomy of your ships without making any modification to them? Uh, the ship is one of the of Ecuadorian because uh, cannot stay at sea uh, for a long period and creating a, a difference uh, in the form of weight contents, uh, which is the reason of the project today. Uh, good morning. My name is Andreina Reyes and my partner is Karen Villalba. Our project today is a preliminary design of a 2640 tons replenishing oil ship for the Ecuadorian Navy. The objective is the design of the type of ship that present and improving in the development of the Navy mission effectively. For the agenda today, we have the requirements, a uh, whole form. Uh, we, we have a quick description about the general advertisement. And in the part structure, we present the mainframe and analysis in ANSYS. Uh, in the part of the auxiliary system, we present the, the power of the pump of the main system. In the part of the propulsion, we present the characteristics of the engine and the propeller. In the part of the intact stability, we present the criteria that we will use. And the final, we estimate the cost for the ship. In this part, we have the, about the, speak about the log, logistic. Uh, by Copo is the largest ship in the fleet navy with autonomy is eight days. And the uh, smaller ones is the missile box with autonomy is five days. Uh, the other side, as you can see, the resupply location that, were, that the ships could have. The requirements defined by the ship owner are capacity of 200,000 gallons fuel, 100,000 gallons of water, 20,000 of fuel jet A1, 2,000 tons of deck in load, and autonomy in 30 days. Equipment of RAS mast, crane, and elevator. 
habitability for 43 crew, 60 personal and 12 injured, and medical facilities. The main dimension were obtained by interpolation of a cargo ship and tankers. The dimension are uh, 90, uh, 95 meters being 16.5 uh, meters and draft 6.5 meters. You can see in the arrangement, the distribution and main equipment in both crane, containers and habitability and midship, RAS and cargo zone. And in Eastern, uh, rescue boats, habitability, hospital, brigade house and helicopter deck. 12 uh, bullheads are distributed and the permeability are defined. Uh, 0 0.6 for the cargo zone 0.85 for the machine space and 0.95 in the other compartment. The distribution satisfies the floatable length for two compartments. Continuing, the capacity distribution can be observed uh, where the fuel represents uh, 35%, water 21%, and dry cargo 43%. The scantling was designed uh, with the MV support vessel. A longitudinal frame was used for the midship and transfer frame for the after and for peak. The distribution uh, is recommended by the rule because for length greater than uh, 60 meters, the shear stress in hogging and sagging are more important. The mainframe presents the following characteristics. In general, the bottom and side thickness is 12 millimeters. 10 millimeters on the deck and 8 millimeters on the substructure. The sectional modulus is 1.5 uh, times the required of the ship girder. In ANSYS, we analyze a block of a cargo zone uh, whose stress is 152 megapascals and indicated a safety factor of uh, 1.53. The proportion we select a uh, engine. This is the caterpillar with a the with a power that 3393 horsepower with uh, 900 rpm. Uh, we use a reduction year uh, 4.5. In the in the part of the propeller with a characteristics, the diameter is 3.3 meters with a pitch is 2.8 meters, and the EAR is 0.48. Uh, in this part, we have the auxiliary system. Uh, as you can see in the imaging, the power of the main of the main system, like a fuel, bill gauge, uh, fresh water, and RAS. But what is RAS? RAS is a replenishment autonomy of sea. In this case of the project, we use the three methods. Uh, the first is a long side connect, is when the ships uh, refuel. Uh, to another when while they are navigating. In the other is the after falling when the, the ships uh, transfer fuel to helicopter. In this case, we use, uh, we have the jet IA-1. And the finally, we have the vertical. This is the way of transfer uh, dry cargo, uh, emulsion or weight pumps. In this part, we have the naval system. Uh, it's necessary to remember that this type of ship is not for the destiny to combat. It's only for the cell protection. Uh, we have another uh, many sensor and the number one is only for the area protection sensor and marine surveillance. The number two is for the control small and medium caliber scan. The number three provide a panoramic view uh, to improve the airways main at sea. In the final, we have the right rate of tranking of over the ozone scanning. In this part, we have the stability. Uh, we, we employ the three condition with a first is the full cargo, the second is a 50% cargo, and finally with a 10% cargo. The criteria that we use is the weather and the other is impact stability, AMM, this is with a cob is A, uh, seven, 749. Uh, and finally, we, 
we present the cost. The cost estimate for the ship is around the 50, uh, 35 million, 150K dollars. As you can see in the pine chart, the, the highest value are for the structure and superstructure. In the other is the workforce of the all construction groups. So Mari, uh, what did we want to increase the autonomy of the naval fleet? How? By designing a replenishment ship with the following characteristics. The ship is a length of 95 meters, has a hospital, helicopter deck, crane, rescue boats, and RIS mast. This has capacity uh, of 2,640 uh, tons of load. The scantling has a safety factor of uh, 1.5. Uh, the propulsion has two 3,393 uh, HP motors and uh, two for blade propellant. The auxiliary system phone and naval system equipment were defined. Conclusion. It was possible to design the ship. Uh, that meets the given requirement. It will uh, have the capacity uh, to replenish up to three ships of the fleet at sea with fuel, water, food, and ammunition. This replenishment uh, will increase the autonomy of the fleet up uh, to 20 days. The hospital on board, it, uh, it is a capacity to transport uh, containers and the large uh, volume of the, its tanks allows the ship uh, to carry out a uh, humanitarian and health aid mission to the civilian population and Circumstance of Catastrophe and Environment Defense. Good. Uh, finally, the reference. Uh, thank you. Uh, you're right on time, 10 minutes. Uh, do we have any question from the audience? Do we have any question? Miss Nadia, go on. Hello. Hello, everyone. Uh, Good morning, Andreina and Karen, and Karen. Uh, yes, I have a question. Uh, what is the navigation area this vessel is going to sail? Uh, in Ecuador? Karen, okay. Andreina, Karen. Okay. Um, I, I can uh, repeat uh, this. Yes, what is the navigation area where this vessel is going to sail? Um, is in, in, in Ecuador. Um, like the, the navigation area, one, two, three, four. Um, one. Uh, but one is just 13 nautic miles away from the coast. Is this going to sell you that? Uh, the, the ship uh, is will be navigating in the Mante Esmeralda, Guayaquil. Yeah, but just around the coast. It's not going to sail further than that. Uh, Did you take into account the, the navigation equipment that you're going to put on? Because this is uh, in Solas, you, you can uh, see all that information, which navigation equipment equipment you need. Okay, you this check that for the song one and two. Yes, because it says the navigation area is around or the coast is uh, just area one or the two is four. There is like one hundred and eighty nautical miles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or three, even further, and four from the coast. Okay, so you have to define first that and then include the navigation equipment. Mm, okay. Yeah, uh, this, uh, this part of the project, uh, we, don't, we don't finish. Yeah, because uh, we, we have the 90% advance of the project. This is the 90 about the, the electricity or the equipment of the navigation. Okay. Okay. Uh, just one quick question. Uh, when you try to replenish 
Okay. This yeah. is a very large ship, right? It, what is the maximum speed that you can, uh, can navigate with this ship? Uh, the speed uh, is 12 knots. 12 um, knots. And the distance between the ship is 140 foot. Uh, my, my question is, okay, uh, the other ship, I see, uh, what is this? It's a missile boat, okay? The missile boat is very fast, right? So when you yes. try to get replenishment at sea, did you consider the minimum velocity that, the, that these boats can travel? So they can reduce its velocity and the large ship can reach its velocity, so they move at the same speed. What's, did you consider that for the selection of the velocity? Uh, the demanding is for the information, but the, the, replenishment, the replenishment is for the for the for the ships like a Corbett. Um, in this case, is while Copo is a tanker. I know. But yeah, we did not consider it a missile boat. boat. Oh, okay. Because, so, yeah, and, because in general, uh, this is for the defense, but the ship owner was concentrated in the in the type of ship the 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 well, length with a is large is more larger. Okay, so it's it's that's uh, that's something else. The uh, you show in the proportion calculations that uh, you're going to use a propeller with uh, a. a area ratio of 0.48. Did you consider cavitation? Uh, yes, but we use uh, the program hydrocom. Uh, don't tell me that, don't tell me that. <laughs> it looks it, it looks very, very low, but uh, I mean, it, 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 I could be wrong, but it looks very, very low. Okay, so uh, I, I guess you should check that. There is another question, a final question from Miss uh, Engineer Tenesaka. Do you have a question, Engineer Tenesaka? Good morning. Good morning. Yes. Uh, why the, well, for the party, you choose two types of ships? Uh, I believe tanker. I don't remember another type of ship. Cargo. Tanker and cargo. Yeah. Why, do you, why do you choose? to try to keep for the final product? Uh, because of the beginning of the project, we don't have enough information about this type of ship. Uh, the, the type of ships in general, we, uh, they has uh, 20 hundred lands. Um, because for this reason, uh, we, we combine this type of ship. Thank you for the capacity, but uh, is the velocity uh, oscillate between the 10 or 12 canons. But we have more velocity because uh, we consider the cargo. Yeah. So for the, for, the, for, the, for the force of the hull. Okay. okay, thank you. We have to move on. Uh, we have the new, the new, presentation from uh, Mr. Vera and Ms. Morocho about the floating drive. So we're going to change now gears because we have no velocity, I guess. Go on, uh, Mr. Vera. We cannot hear you, we cannot hear you. Uh, now, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay. Uh, good morning to everyone. Today, we are going to present the preliminary design of a modular six pound lift capacity flooring dry dock by Daniela Morocho and Victor Vera. Now, uh, first, we want to sh uh, share with you a quote from someone famous that is here. Uh, faith is taking the first step even when you don't see the whole answer case by Martin Luther King Jr. Now, 
beginning with our presentation, uh, this is our agenda. Uh, first, we, we want to present the project description, the project schedule, the dimension, general arrangements, structure, auxiliary systems, stability, and costs. Next. For the description of the project, uh, it is necessary to, to mention that our ship owner here is engineer Gerardo Hidalgo. The project proposal is to design a modular dry dock. This modular dry dock is compounded by some pontoons with removable, the pontoon is compounded with removable sections. So you can take a section of the pontoon and take it out. Uh, what are the advantage of, the advantage of it? Uh, is that uh, you won't need to transport this dry dock to anywhere when it will need uh, maintenance. And what is the advantage of it? Uh, it is a financial advantage here because uh, you save money in the transportation and also you save time. There is related with, with money because in that time you can attend some ships. And uh, maybe you could think that, okay, uh, if I lose that time, I am losing that amount of money. So next. Uh, we want to share with you also the spiral design because uh, we want to emphasize that design is not linear. So we, in our process, uh, we have to make some, some, some ground. And, uh, and also we have to return to our steps and, do again the process. Yeah, this is our project schedule that shows that we that we work from June 9th to August the 28th. Yes, this is how we uh, how we organize ourselves, and this is how we get the dimensions. To get the dimension, the main dimensions of the of the dry dock, we employed an optimization process. To do this optimization process, uh, we define uh, the variables, uh, the dimensions of the floating drug, the, the floating <laughs> drug that we want to obtain from the from the function that we want to optimize. That was investment recovery period, and to do this calculation, we employ the software MATLAB with a subroutine called Baron, that is branch and reduce optimization navigator. And in the box uh, below, you can see how the how was the convergence that no, that the, the, there is no problem where you start, you are going to converge in the same point. And then here are the main dimensions. So to get this table of the main dimension, we, we, did, we did a 3D model. This 3D model to, to be done, uh, we selected the geometry. The geometry is very simple though. So what we made it there, yes, when we made it something interesting is that, that the ponton and that there exists a gap between each ponton. Uh, the reason for this gap is to, is, is to reduce the probability of collision between pontons when you're removing them. Uh, well, then is the general arrangement. To, to organize the general arrangement, we needed to know uh, what is the the building necessary to get the draft level for our of the of our design that was required, and um, and so this we calculate the volume, and with this volume we obtain query, uh, how many tons, uh, what was the level of water we need inside our dry dock, and also uh, it, it was necessary. Well, it was asked by our ship owner to include uh, the workshops of the Actinaba Center because it could uh, give a lot of possibilities. And here is the general arrangement plan with the crane and all the times distributed, distributed uh, in the, um, yeah, next. What? Uh, please, sorry, me. Some neighbor is shouting. Uh, the, for the for the scantling, we consider the Lloyd Register uh, rules and regulation for construction of floating dry docks. That regulation gives us the, some formulation to estimate the the the, mod, the sectional modulum of of main reinforcement of the ship of the dry dock. 
where we can calculate the the section of the longitudinal girder and stiffness, and also estimate the, the thickness of the plate in each level of the dry dock. So the scantling look look like this. This is a, a, a front view of the of the uh, master frame. Um, and the sections that we select is, is this is a view in frames and this between the frames and this is the other view of the transversal pontoon in, in the pillar. This is a longitudinal ball head. In this way is is this column of pillars, and this is the, uh, the the same view but between the frames. Here we can see the three D. Uh, of the scantling of the whole ship, of a section of the ship, and two different views of the of the scantling in, of the pontoon. Well, we don't have a ship propulsion system, but we have a pump system for maneuver of submersion and immersion process when we receive a, a, a ship. Uh, uh, from the requirements, the ship owners say that, the, that that maneuver should take 90 minutes. So with that value, we can calculate the flow rate that each pump that is located in this part should have. With this, this value, we, we calculate the minimum head of the pump uh, for this system in, using pipe flow. And with the, this value flow rate and head, we, we uh, select the pump that satisfy this, these parameters. This is a, an example of the pump that we select. And also, other requirement was uh, implement uh, uh, fixed cranes instead mobile because the mobile gives some problem with the maintenance of the bearings. And the ship owner say that better is use a, a fixed crane. And we select a low register certified crane, which can move six ton in, from any point of the, of the dry dock that you can see in, in the figure. Okay. Another important parameter, yeah, is, is covering all the area. Another important parameter is the stability of the ship. We have six different conditions where the ship is with, where the where the dry dock is working, and we can we consider some parameters from IMO and low register criteria. And we can see uh, this column if the criteria that the required value that should that should have in any condition. Uh, we analyze the ship condition and we have it, all conditions satisfied except the light displacement. Uh, exactly in the angle of max GC is 24 instead of 25. But this problem can be solved increasing the level of the ballast tank in, inside. We consider for the design 0 0.4 meter, 0 .4 meters, but with 0 0.6, this problem can be solved just for this condition. For the other condition, the, the, the level of the tanks will be 0 0.4. Finally, the, the cost that we estimate for this project, sorry. The cost that we estimate considering a structure and machinery was this, and considering that the, the project is constructed by Asti Nave, EP. <laughs> sorry. Okay. The conclusions, I'm sorry. This is the conclusion. The model of referring docks allow to reduce the maintaining cost that a conventional dock will have because the, the, the flooring dry dock could uh, make the maintenance itself in this way that you can see in the figure. And the proposed design meets the needs of the ship owner and the Ecuadorian demand. And the cost of the project is within the price range of similar dry docks that exist with some years of, of work. Thing. 10 minutes, right, you did a good job. That's it's a nice presentation. Do we have any questions from the audience? Any questions from the audience? Any hands? No? Uh, I have a couple of, uh, okay. There is some question from Miss Nadia. Go on, Miss Nadia. Hello, guys. Uh, yes, I have a question about the coast. And uh, you consider uh, this is going to be done in Astinave, but I want to know if you compare this value that you obtain here with some other constructions of these dry docks, mm -hmm. floating docks. Yeah, we consider for this case, because like 
Kachip, there you have some advantage in, in price in cost of, of the, the construction. We consider for as the Navis $5.5 per kilogram of steel, labor and material. Yeah, but my question, Victor, my question was if you compare this cost that you obtain here with another cost of another protein dog. Yeah, the cost is with some years is 20, 25 millions of dollars, million dollars. Okay, with the same the, dimensions or different dimensions? Yeah, with the same dimension. We, we made a regression in, in the optimization process. We made a list and a regression with the price the, and the main dimension. Are, and they, are, they, also, and they, are they also new, new dry docks? No, we 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 don't we don't find the 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 price the cost of, of a new okay. because it's difficult. But but we 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 find some uh, 2018 on 2017 uh, yeah. dry docks, but with the same dimensions. Uh, ju just one quick question, uh, Nadia. Let, let me interrupt you. Uh, did you find any, what are the main differences? Okay, this is a, a sign off ship, but it's not really a ship. What are the main di differences in, in the spiral design you have to follow for this dry dock instead uh, of a ship? Well, we don't have ship propulsion system, but we we need, we some, any iterations in, in the, in calculate the volume of tanks that we need to reach the maximum draft that we that that was the requirement of the ship owner. That draft uh, is there uh, is ninety point twenty five. It sinks the the top of the kill blocks to the to the level of work. Okay. That that is is difficult because uh, inside we we need a space for 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 workspace and for, for tanks and other depend dependencies. And, and we need to consider the, the permeability um, and some other things that, and, and the volume of, of all tanks to, to calculate the, 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 the maximum draft that we can reach. And for the stability calculation, did you consider one specific ship inside the inside the yeah yeah we calculate the maximum the maximum lift capacity that is 6,000 tons. And we consider that the center of gravity is H meter uh, since the, the top of the kill blocks. Okay. To top, yeah. To consider that, but, but this, the worst uh, things that can happen. But in the, the, the only condition that don't satisfy is the light condition. And also we, it was a surprise with, with us that the in the uh, in the final presentation is the here here you can see the the maintenance condition where the where the where the dry dock is is with less two pontons in depth and we think maybe it's the worst condition but not the center of gravity is slower than when we when we have a ship uh, on top and we don't have two two pontons in the in the head at the ends, but it's, it's stable. The work condition is in light condition. Okay, uh, Anadia, do you have something else? Mm -hmm. uh, just uh, as you say here, the model of floating dock, and you at the beginning of your presentation, you say floating dry dock. So there is a difference in that. The floating dock is like the vessel, okay, should have an anchoring system as well. And the dry dock is not moving. <laughs> yeah, this is a floating dry dock. Floating dry dock. And why do you call it floating dry dock? Because in, in this part, in this part of the presentation, you said modular floating dock. Oh, in the title? We, I mean, we put modular floating dry dock. I don't remember, maybe it's a mistake. Okay. So what is the difference in the floating dry dock and the floating dock? Oh, the uh, dry dock is, is fixed in the, in the, in the roof, but we are not fixed. We are floating like, uh, like the other dry dock. That's what I'm saying. It's floating dock because it's going to move. It's like a vessel, right? 
No, I, I think oh, it's, okay. the dry dog. It's, it's correct. Yeah. It's the dry dog. If it is only moving in vertical direction, it, yeah. it is dry dog or yeah. only sorry dog? <laughs> Floating dog is like a vessel. Floating, if floating dog is like you having a sinave. No. Mm. The vessel is that, yes. Dogs I, I are think dogs. The sinave uh, dogs in, in the Basque Sur, they are dry dogs. They are dry dogs. But, but they can move, they are vessels. I know. But, I know. but, this, dry but dog. this one, it is not willing to, to move anywhere. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because of it, it was going to do its itself maintenance. Yeah, in Posorja they are going to do dry dogs. Yeah, because it's going to be on the on Earth. No, I think they have a different name. When they are built, you have a, a like a gate, right, to let open yes, it. Exactly. Mm, uh -huh, no, uh -huh. it's a different one. I, I think the name is different. I'm sure. I'm sure that the name of the dogs of the Asinave in the Basesur, they are dry dogs. When I get there for a long time, a long time ago, I was surprised by the name. But yes. yeah, remember that those are dry dogs. Mm -hmm. Even though they are not on the land. <laughs> yeah, it, it surprised me. <laughs> surprised me. So yes. yeah. Okay. Uh, so let's take a break here, 10:23. Let's take a seven minute break and we will go on at 10.30 with the next presentation, okay? Okay. <laughs> 